Karl Brandt, the 8th of January 1904 to the 2nd of June 1948, was a German physician and Schutzstaffel SS officer in Nazi Germany. Trained in surgery, Brandt joined the Nazi Party in 1932 and became Adolf Hitler's escort doctor in August 1934. A member of Hitler's inner circle at the Berghof, he was selected by Philipp Buhler, the head of Hitler's chancellery, to administer the Action T4 euthanasia program. Brandt was later appointed the Reich Commissioner of Sanitation and Health Bevolmaktigte für das Sanitats und Gesundheitswesen. Accused of involvement in human experimentation and other war crimes, Brandt was indicted in late 1946 and faced trial before a U.S. military tribunal along with 22 others in United States of America v. Carl Brandt, et al. He was convicted, sentenced to death, and later hanged on 2 June 1948. Early life Brandt was born in Mulhaus in the then German Alsace-Lorraine territory now in, -Rhine, France, into the family of a Prussian army officer. He became a medical doctor and surgeon in 1928, specializing in head and spinal injuries. He joined the Nazi Party in January 1932, and first met Hitler in the summer of 1932. He became a member of the SA in 1933 and a member of the SS on 29 July 1934, appointed the officer rank of Untersturmführer. From the summer of 1934 forward, he was Hitler's escort physician. Karl Brandt married Annie Rayborn, born 1907, a champion swimmer, on 17 March 1934. They had one son, Karl Adolf Brandt, born 4 October 1935. Career in Nazi Germany In the context of the 1933 Nazi law Gazette zur Verhutung Erbkranken Nashwitzes Law for the Prevention of Hereditarily Diseased Offspring, Brandt was one of the medical scientists who performed abortions in great numbers on women deemed genetically disordered, mentally or physically handicapped or racially deficient, or whose unborn fetuses were expected to develop such genetic defects. These abortions had been legalized as long as no healthy Aryan fetuses were aborted. On the 1st of September 1939, Brandt was appointed by Hitler co-head of the Action T4 euthanasia program with Philipp Buhler. Additional power was afforded Brandt when on the 28th of July 1942, he was appointed Commissioner of Sanitation and Health für das Sanitats und Gesundheitswesen by Hitler and was thereafter only bound by the Führer's instructions. He received regular promotions in the SS. By April 1944, Brandt was a SS Gruppenführer in the Allgemeiner SS and a SS Brigadeführer in the Waffen SS. On 16 April 1945, he was arrested by the Gestapo for moving his family out of Berlin so they could surrender to American forces. Brandt was condemned to death by a military court and then sent to Kiel. He was released from arrest by order of Karl Donitz on 2 May. He was placed under arrest by the British on 23 May. Topic. Brandt's medical ethics Brandt's medical ethics, particularly regarding euthanasia, were influenced by Alfred Hoche, whose courses he attended. Like many other German doctors of the period, Brandt came to believe that the health of society as a whole should take precedence over that of its individual members. Because society was viewed as an organism that had to be cured, its weakest, most invalid and incurable members were only parts that should be removed. Such hapless creatures should therefore be granted a merciful death. Nadentod. 
In addition to these considerations, Brandt's explanation at his trial for his criminal actions, particularly ordering experimentation on human beings, was that any personal code of ethics must give way to the total character of the war." Historian Horst Freyhofer asserts that, in the absence of at least Brandt's tacit approval, it is highly unlikely that the grotesque and cruel medical experiments for which the Nazi doctors are infamous, could have been performed. Brandt and Hitler discussed multiple killing techniques during the initial planning of the euthanasia program, during which Hitler asked Brandt, "...which is the most humane way?" Brandt suggested the use of carbon monoxide gas, to which Hitler gave his approval. Hitler instructed Brandt to get in touch with other physicians and begin to coordinate the mass killings. Topic: Life in the Inner Circle. Karl Brandt and his wife Annie were members of Hitler's inner circle at Berchtesgaden, where Hitler maintained his private residence known as the Berghof. This very exclusive group functioned as Hitler's de facto family circle. It included Eva Braun, Albert Speer, his wife Marguerite, Theodore Morell, Martin Bormann, Hitler's photographer Heinrich Hoffmann, Hitler's adjutants and his secretaries. Brandt and Hitler's chief architect Albert Speer were good friends as the two shared technocratic dispositions about their work. Brandt looked at killing useless eaters and the handicapped as a means to an end, namely since it was in the interest of public health. Similarly, Speer viewed the use of concentration camp labor for his defense and building projects in much the same way. As members of this inner circle, the Brandts had a residence near the Berghof and spent considerable time there when Hitler was present. In his memoirs, Speer described the numbing lifestyle of Hitler's inner circle, forced to stay up most of the night listening to the insomniac Nazi leaders' repetitive monologues or to an unvarying selection of music. Despite Brandt's closeness to Hitler, the dictator was furious when he learned shortly before the end of the war that the doctor had sent Annie and their son toward the American lines in hopes of evading capture by the Russians. Only the intervention of Heinrich Himmler, Speer, and the direct order of Admiral Dönitz after Brandt had been captured by the Gestapo and sent to Kiel in the war's closing days, saved him from execution. <laughs> Trial and execution Brandt was tried along with 22 others at the Palace of Justice in Nuremberg, Germany. The trial was officially titled United States of America v. Karl Brandt et al., but is more commonly referred to as the Doctor's Trial. It began on 9 December 1946. He was charged with four counts conspiracy to commit war crimes and crimes against humanity as described in counts 2 and 3 war crimes, performing medical experiments, without the subject's consent, on prisoners of war and civilians of occupied countries, in the course of which experiments the defendants committed murders, brutalities, cruelties, tortures, atrocities, and other inhuman acts also planning and performing the mass murder of prisoners of war and civilians of occupied countries, stigmatized as aged, insane, incurably ill, deformed, and so on, by gas, lethal injections, and diverse other means in nursing homes, hospitals, and asylums during the euthanasia program and participating in the mass murder of concentration camp inmates, crimes against humanity, committing crimes described under Count II also on German nationals Membership in a criminal organization, the SS. 
The charges against him included special responsibility for, and participation in, freezing, malaria, lost gas, sulfonilamide, bone, muscle and nerve regeneration and bone transplantation, sea water, epidemic jaundice, sterilization, and typhus experiments, after a defense led by Robert Savatius. On 19 August 1947, Brandt was found guilty on counts 2 to 4 of the indictment. With six others, he was sentenced to death by hanging, and all were executed at Landsberg Prison on 2 June 1948. Nine other defendants received prison terms of between 15 years and life, while a further seven were found not guilty, while on the gallows, Brandt remarked, It is no shame to stand upon the scaffold. This is nothing but political revenge. I have served my fatherland as others before me." His speech was cut short when a black hood was placed over his head. See also List SS Gruppenführer Action 14 F13 Nazi Germany Nazi human experimentation Topic Notes <laughs>